For the longest time, we've been looking for a mobile streaming application that has been viable to not only capture our gameplay picture, but also our face cam using the camera on our Apple devices. This capability has only ever been available for Android users, but that is not the case anymore, guys. Apple users, I have something special to show you guys today, and it's 100% free to use, and it's called Camo Studio. To get this application, you guys are gonna to wanna to head over to the Apple App Store and you're gonna to wanna to search up Camo Studio. And when you do that, you're gonna see the application with that purple icon right there, select that, and then go ahead and download it. As an FYI, this application is currently only compatible with iPads running iPad OS 17 or later. Now, before I show you guys the ins and out of this amazing application, I wanna give a quick shout out to our sponsor, Nexus Clips. This is an AI powered video editing tool that repurposes your YouTube or Twitch live streams into short form engaging content. It can automatically detect edit and add subtitles to your most highlight worthy moments. You can then easily download your clips to be uploaded to YouTube or TikTok at the single click of a button in great quality. So if you guys are trying to save all of that time that you're spending editing down your long live streams, then give Nexus Clips a try. The link will be in the description below. All right, so up in front of me now, we have the Camo Studio application. When you guys first open this up, you should see something that looks similar to this. To give you guys a general sense for where things are within this app, App. I would break this out into four primary sections. The section on the left is gonna be all of your device and source settings. If we look at the middle top area, this is where you can start your recordings or set your live stream destinations as well as monitoring the audio levels for your stream. You can also access your general application settings here as well as the help area. The rightish middle area is where you're gonna see your stream preview. And then below that, you're gonna see something called all scenes. And this is where you can add, modify, and update your scenes for your stream. So with that being said, what I'm gonna show you guys next is how you can set this up for a gaming live stream. And I think you guys are gonna be quite impressed at the features available to us to do this. So what we're gonna do is actually go to our all scene section. We're gonna swipe up there and then select the plus button. And then we're gonna create a new scene. We're just gonna call this game scene submit and that's going to create a brand new scene so if we scroll down a little bit here you're going to see that that scene has been created here we're going to just select into that looking at the left side under primary source settings we're going to want to adjust the type of source that is being used for our base video so instead of it being the camera if we select that drop down we can actually go with an external video source which means you can plug in a capture card into the ipad if it has that USB-C connecting port. All you would need to do is set up your capture card with your console like you would normally. So your console would be the HDMI input into the capture card, and then the HDMI out would go to your TV or your monitor. Then the USB-C connection would run from your capture card to your iPad. So if I go ahead and select external video source, you're gonna see that I can now select the device dropdown and choose my Elgato 4KX capture card. And when I do that, you can see my gameplay pop up. The audio, if you look at the top of this app, is actually coming through as well. And this is just one of the options you have for capturing your gameplay. Of course, you can capture the gameplay directly on your iPad for mobile gaming. So in this case, we would go back up to the type source option select that drop down and then choose apps on this iPad. And this will start a broadcast through the recording functionality of the iPad. It will not push you live, but it essentially will bring in the feed of your display into this app so that you can then move around your face cam to wherever different positions that you'd like. And this picture in picture overlay will remain over your iPad screen while you're live and playing your mobile app games. Since I wanna play my games on my PS5, I'm gonna stick with the setup that I have here. Next, I'm gonna go over to source number two by going over to the tab with the camera icon that says two on it. And we're gonna keep the camera the same. I wanna keep using the front camera. So the type and device, I'm just gonna keep those the same. There are some cool image enhancement features that you could add if you would like, such as the background. So right now I have mine selected to normal, but we can remove that background if we'd like. Turn on portrait mode. You can add a filter to change the look of your camera. I'm gonna keep that set to none, but I actually kinda of like the next feature here, which is spotlight, because if you're in a poor lighting situation, you can turn this on to make your face 
much more bright than what it would be without. I just turned from a dark skinned man to a light skinned man. Next down here, we have our framing composition. So in case we wanna be more zoomed in or more zoomed out, I kind of like it, you know, a little bit zoomed in here. So my face is a little bit tight in the frame so I can be seen clearly. And then below that you have your rotation and mirror video options in case your camera outputs a little bit funny. Next up, let's head over to our audio and microphone tab. And this is one of my issues with this app actually. What you see here is that only one audio device is selected and that's my Elgato 4K X because I wanna make sure that audio is coming through. Now, if you're using the application recording feature and you're not using external devices, that feature will work perfectly fine to have your microphone and game audio recorded. The issue comes when you're trying to record audio from another device altogether, since the app can only support one USB audio input source at a time. So a workaround for this issue, if you're using an external capture card, like in my case, number one, you guys can use an audio interface or mixer to connect all of your audio devices to your iPad as a single USB input source. What you guys see me using here is the Fifine Gaming Mixer. I have my microphone plugged in, which is this Rode XLR microphone. I have it plugged in right here and I can control that audio using this dial. Now the game audio is also coming into this mixer by this Chatlink Pro cable. So whatever mixer you have has to have a line in port. So that way you can pull the audio from your controller into the mixer directly and I can control it via this dial right here. Now the mixer itself is connected to this iPad by using this dongle I have here. I'm using the one from Moken. So I'm not only connecting just the mixer, but also the capture card input as well and some power supply. Now I realize for those of you who are newer to live streaming, this might seem like a complicated configuration to put together. So for option number two, you're gonna wanna take your mobile phone, it can be an Android device or an iPhone, doesn't matter. You're gonna wanna download the Camo Camera app. Once you have that installed, head back over to camera number two. Next to device, select that drop down, and you're gonna wanna pair a device. Here, a QR code is going to pop up. You're going to want to go into the Camo Camera app, scan that QR code by selecting the Wi-Fi option, wait for your phone to connect with the Camo Studio app, and after about 30 seconds or so, you should have it connected in an active status, and you're going to want to head over back to the microphone option, the audio section here. You should see your phone listed as an audio source. So instead of it saying none, Select that drop down and then choose one of the options. I'm just gonna go ahead and select the camera option and then my audio will be coming through. As you can see, I'm talking into the microphone, but at the same time, if we just go and play an emote, you can see that audio is coming in as well. Now the extra caveat here is that you're gonna need to stay within the Camo Camera app on your phone so you can't leave it and head over to a social media site or whatever while you're streaming because your, your audio will go away and you'll need to reset this. Next, let's head over to our layers section and this is where we can see all of our different sources as well as the background and have additional settings to actually play with here. So for the example, let's actually use the secondary video source, which is my face cam here. If you have that selected, I can actually move my face cam wherever I want on my screen, even shrink it down a little bit if I want, be itsy bitsy small or be freaking huge if I want to as well. But you know, we're, we'll keep ourselves at a very nice uh, quality size there. From here, I'm actually gonna click into that secondary source there on the left and I can actually change the opacity of myself. I can adjust my corner radius. So maybe I want my face cam to be more square instead of circular. I can also change the color of my border. So I'll try to make it the theme of my YouTube channel here. And then we can also adjust the border width to be thicker or skinnier. And now let's say we wanna hide this source altogether, but not delete it. Well, we can just click and hold this source and that'll pop up an option to hide it. Also within this section, you can add new layers such as text, an image, shape, and even a web address. So that means if you wanna bring in your alerts or your chat overlays from Streamlabs, you can do that. All you would need to do is head over to the Streamlabs dashboard, go and get your alerts or chat overlay link, come back in the Camo Studio, select the web layer option, and then add your URL in and submit it. I'm gonna go ahead and add one more scene to my setup here. And this is gonna be for just chatting, submit, 
and then we're gonna go down to the chatting scene. It's actually gonna take the, whatever the last scene I was working on and essentially duplicate it. But for this one, I'm gonna go over to my base scene. Instead of it being the external capture card, we're gonna go with camera and then we're gonna select my front facing camera here. And then for camera number two, we're just gonna completely turn this one off. So I'm gonna go over to my layers, go to the secondary source, hold that down and we're just gonna hide that so that we don't see that. And now I have just chatting set up. Alrighty, so at this point, we are in pretty good shape to go live. To do that, we're gonna wanna go over to the top middle section, select that drop down where you currently see my YouTube icon. I already have my account connected, but what you're probably gonna see when I press this plus button are these options here. So you can connect your YouTube, Twitch, Trovo, or you can use a custom option where you can put in your own stream key. I'm good with my YouTube being set up. I can select the broadcast, do new broadcast, and then give my stream a title. Description, I'll just put in test stream. Broadcast time is gonna be now. Visibility, we're gonna make that public, of course. And the one thing I'll say here that we need is an option to upload a thumbnail. So possibly another feature that could be added to this app, but otherwise we're in good shape or ready to go. We can just select done. It's gonna create our broadcast. Now we can just go ahead and select start and we will push our stream live to YouTube. We can even record next to where I'm already live for YouTube. I can select that drop down and we'll be able to live stream and record our gameplay session at the same time. Now, one thing I wanted to note that you actually wanna do before you go live is where it says 1080p 60 right now for me, that drop down, I'm gonna select that. Make sure you have this set to where you want. I prefer recording and streaming at 1080p 60 using this application. So if you wanna record in that quality or any other here, just make sure you set it. Now, while we're live, there's a couple cool things that we can do. One of those is seeing our chat while we're gaming at the same time. So if we go to this section here on the far right hand side tab, we can select the plus button and then add our chat to the mix here. Now we can select it in that drop down, and you'll see all of the chats coming through. If I want to, I could even reply to those chats while I'm live at the same time by just signing into the chat window here. It also doesn't hurt while you're live to give it a listen, see how your audio is sounding and balance it out accordingly. Typically you'll want your game audio to be a little bit less than your microphone audio. So that way you'll always be heard over any loud noises or gunshot sounds in your games. For those of you with a little bit of a creative mind, you guys can have some fun with the drawing feature. So if you look at the middle area where you see that pen pencil icon next to Camo Studio, it's gonna bring up a set of objects you can use for drawing. So I can just take any one of these and I can either take my finger or a pen and I can just start drawing all over this thing. If I don't wanna have my creation up on the screen anymore, I can just go ahead and select that clear option on the left-hand side at the top. Something else we can do is that if we go all the way to the top left corner of the app, if we don't wanna see all of our settings and chat, we can just select that and that'll put us in more of a full screen mode. I'm actually gonna get out of the pencil drawing mode as well, and that will allow us to see everything in a greater visibility on our stream. But I think at this point, it's finally time to have some fun. So let's do a little bit of a test stream and see how our quality is looking. All right, doesn't look like anybody came in here, so we're chilling, we can get a couple weapons. But anyways, what do you guys think of the quality? You're watching this in 1080p 60. I decided to go with more frames over, you know, having a 4K 30. So this is 1080p 60 upscale to 4K. Is it good, is it bad? I think from what I'm seeing here, it looks very solid, especially for a mobile app that can pull in a capture card signal with a face cam. And I got the audio going for both the capture card source and our microphone through the phone all at the same time. I think this is extremely impressive and it's only gonna get better. You know, I can't imagine what it's gonna be in the future. So there's a lot to look forward to. My goodness, he's spicy. Man, my aim is terrible right now. There we go. Oh, do it, do it, come here, I dare you. Dare you, man. Okay, if you guys are paying close attention to the recording, you might have noticed that the face cam commentary audio was not perfectly in sync with the video. 
and this is because I'm using the phone's microphone input. If I had been using the camera from the phone for the face cam, it would have been in sync as I'd be using the same device for both the face cam and the commentary audio. Alrighty guys, I am back in Camo Studio and I'm finished with my live stream. And if I want to stop it, all I gotta do is head over to the top where I have that little live thing going on YouTube right now, touch that. And I can just simply press the stop button and that will end my live stream. It'll end it completely on YouTube. You don't have to go to the control center and end it manually or anything like that. Camo takes care of that for you. Very nice, easy, clean finish. So please let me know in the comment section below what your thoughts are with the quality as well as your experience using this application once you give it a try. I'd love to hear it. If you guys came to enjoy the video, of course, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new around here. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.